Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to full adder. Previously we discussed the Carnot map implementation of full adder. So in this video, we are going to discuss the implementation of full adder using basic logic gates. Okay. So full adder implementation using basic logic gates and there is another condition that we are going to use XOR gate okay so again there will be two categories with and without XOR gate because when we use an XOR gate we reduce the number of gates by a lot a lot of margin but when we don't use XOR gates the number of gates that is the basic gates not and all they increase so there are two conditions again basically uh, logic gates with XOR gate and without XOR gate so this is the with XOR gate condition ok so the expression uh, of uh, full adder boolean expression it is something like this three inputs a b c in and two outputs sum and carry out the sum output it is written as a xor b xor c so here we'll be using this expression because we are using xor gate and the carry expression which will be used in this case is a b or a XOR B into C will be using this version A B or A XOR B into C this version we will use so here how we will do that so here first what we will do We will take an XOR gate, the two inputs are A and B, the output is A XOR B, okay, this and we will take those two inputs A B and we will provide it to a AND gate so we will get A B now there is another carry input seen so we will take another XOR gate here where will provide A XOR B as one of the inputs and this C in carry input as another input so we have the final output A XOR B XOR C in ok and then we will use another and gate where we'll provide 
सीन एंड एग्स और पी दिस सो वी हैव ए एक्स और बी इंटू सी सो वी हैव एक्स और बी एक्स और सी इन दैट वी हैव विच इज दाइनल सम आउटपुट दिस नाउ वी नीड ए बी और एक्स और बी इंटू सी इन सो वॉट विल डू विल यूज लेट मी मिनिमाइज इट विट ओके हेयर will do we'll use a or gate here we'll provide one input as this x or b and c in and this ab so we'll have this ab और ए एक्स और बी इंटू सी विच इज द फाइनल कैरी आउटपुट एंड दिस इज सम विच इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स और बी एक्स और सी सो दिस इज द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन यूजिंग एक्स और गेट and here we have used two input gates so here we have xor 1 this is xor number 2 this is and 1 this is and number 2 and this is or 1 so we use two xor gates two and gates and one or gate okay now suppose we are allowed to use three input gates how we can do that in that case so in that case what we'll do we'll use these expressions so sum will remain as it is a xor b xor c in but the carry output will use this the simplified expression ab or bc or ac this so how will do so we'll use a three input xor gate so we'll have three inputs a b and c so we have a xor b xor c and then we'll take okay three and gates Three and gates. So first we'll take A, B. So this is A B. Then we'll take B C.
so we have here a b and here we have taken b and c in we have got b c in and here we will take c in and this is a yes this is a A, C. Now again we will use a 3 input OR gate to get A, B or B, C or A, C. So this is sum and this is carrier input. Okay, this. So this is XOR gate with three input XOR gate implementation. So here we have three input XOR gate. We required one three input XOR gate, then AND gate two input AND gate one, gate two, two input AND gate three, and one three input OR. Okay, so finally we got the output. So the difference between these two. In the previous one, we used XOR gates, but it was two input XOR gates. So we required two XOR gates to finally get this A XOR, B XOR, C, and we required two AND gates, also two input AND gates to get the carry output, and a OR gate finally to get the carry output. A XOR, B, C, in, A, B, or A XOR, B, C. This this expression we used. Whereas in this case, we used the expression A, B, B, C. Okay.